It's now about a quarter to nine, and I just uploaded this video that I made from this morning um, where I was talking about my dreams and giving an update on my um, back pain. And as I'm like uploading it and looking through it, um, I'm getting increases in attacks on my body. Mm, a little bit in the back, my stomach, my legs. Uh, and my cat at the same time jumps up and starts to beat on this mylar with her paws because my cat, um, you know, my cat's definitely prone to external manipulations through, um, direct frequencies to her brain, just like I am. Um, this re is reinforced for me over and over and over. The way it was, one way it was reinforced yesterday was, um, I was listening to a video, I guess a video I had made or something, where there's a cat meowing. Oh, that's right. It was one of the ones with the hummingbirds. And then there's a cat comes up to me and meows, but you can't really see the cat. It's a black cat because it's dark. And I just put that up last night. Well, as I was doing that, she was sat in the window and she kind of meowed. The cat in the video would meow and then she would meow. And the cat in the video would meow and she would meow. I had headphones on. I was listening to it. She didn't hear it. I really don't think she heard it. She was just like, um, she was being controlled to sort of echo the cat meowing. Um, so I think when she beats on the miler, it has to do with, um, directed energy attacks. Sometimes. Um, and I've gotten warnings about her. I said that briefly on the other video, but I just want to say that again because I really don't want anything to happen. To this. I don't. It's another thing that I don't deserve to keep have it happening. Or it's not even about me. It's about these poor animals. These people keep harming my animals. I really want the Satanists to be disempowered. These um, groups are very entrenched in systems of power, and they really shouldn't be because they're doing horrible things to people and animals. And the environment and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, it's selfishness. It's not funny. It's not cute. And I think that's why, um, you know, the Satanist connection, that's why you do see houses in Portland that still have, or still have, have, you know, either kept or put Halloween decorations up, like, in March. So there's a lot of, um, you know, if you call it witchcraft, people won't take it seriously, but it's witchcraft, but it's done with things like directed energy weapons and power and, um, influence and, you know, and then plus all their traditional, um, tools of, of violence. So, um, the other thing I noticed when I was playing this video back is the video where I say I have this dream and somehow, um, it's linking the back pain implants to a tree and I'm, I'm starting to recognize this, just this symbolic image of this tree is so important. Um, it's obviously some type of old pagan symbol. Um, and it reminded me that my grandmother, who was a nurse in Seattle, used to make um, a lot of crafts and one of the crafts she made one time were these tiny little plastic babies glued into these half almond shells. They were supposed to be like baby Jesus and you would hang them in the tree and it was a tiny little plastic baby inside a half of a walnut shell. Maybe a little, you know, cloth blanket or something or something like that. They were pretty simple, but um, I thought they were pretty fascinating as a kid, these tiny babies in these walnut shells that you would hang from the tree. And it, that too reminds me of this whole thing with the implants. Like, it does feel like... Um, you know, decorations on a Christmas tree because they're kind of all over my body. And um, lately they've been activating them, especially my neck and certain parts of my back in such a way that I can feel them under my skin. These tiny little um, things, you know, like lights on a Christmas tree almost. So by doing all this stuff, it's a process of dehumanization. They feel, I think they feel that, and, you know, probably correctly, that they can get away with a lot of stuff as long as they're able to dehumanize their victim properly. Um, 
so de- there's all kinds of psychological ways that you, you know, and by dehumanizing, I mean, get other people to see that person as less than human. And there's all kinds of psych- psychological techniques that you can use to do that. For example, you know, you could refer to the person in animalistic terms, especially if you're in a culture that disrespects or devalues or doesn't have, care, think that animals have a right to life, um, you know, or right not to be exploited. Um, because I think the exploitation of animals, you know, should not be a given either. Uh, certainly not the torture and, you know, killing of animals for your own selfish purposes. Um, you can dehumanize people by calling them food names, by calling them names of objects, because food is a good one because you eat food. And so it brings out this sort of like aggression quality in people like this, you know, preying predator quality, because humans naturally have those qualities. We naturally have predator qualities. So when you refer to someone with food names that I think that brings that out. Um, There's even just languages that refer to people, but refer to people in dehumanizing ways like slave. Um, You know, sometimes there people are referred to, you know, especially if they're mind control um, subjects, things like robots, slaves, zombies, all that kind of stuff. Dehumanizing. You know, it describes some of the behavior, you know, you know, might just be, but it's not the humans behind it. Um, other ways to dehumanize are to like pe- put people on television, like because they somehow the screen creates a level of um, distance that makes people treat each other in ways that they wouldn't treat each other face to face, nor n- normally necessarily. Um, so you interact people with people differently, and you think of people differently when you only know them through screens. Especially if, uh, you know, what you know is very limited. Um, Also in screens, people seem more like objects, more like dolls, you know, and less like human beings. I mean, there's just, this is just psychology. So um, by putting implants in people, I think there's this idea that somehow the people are fundamentally changed by that. And that's obviously something I've been people thinking about for a really long time. It does go back to, you know, before shows like Six Million Dollar Man and Bionic Woman, which is basically what that's about, is about people who have certain parts of their body replaced with machines or mechanical parts. Um, So the idea of um, implanting someone is partly, I think, intended for that reason, because just the fact that the person has been implanted alone can make you dehumanize the person and say that the person is somehow less than human. Um, Invaders from Mars is a movie that kind of brought that out. Invaders from Mars is about implants. That movie came out in the 50s. And these Martians would come and they would implant people. And once they implanted the people, the people were under Martian control. And they were basically no longer like human. That's straight mind control related to implants. So, um, I think this idea of the Christmas tree and the, um, back pain, the implants and all those things linked together, um, it does relate in that way. It's by somehow, you know, um, doing all these things to this person makes them less than human. But, you know, it's, it's a very, it, and it, it's like a core, there's certain core patterns. And one of the core patterns is for this group to do something to another person and then to blame the victim. Like the victim's always getting blamed for what the um, perpetrator did. So the perpetrator deliberately causes personality changes blamed on the victim, you know, deliberately tries to make the person addicted to drugs, blame the victim. Um, Deliberately makes the person poor, blame the victim. And that's just repeated over and over and over and over and over. So I think it's a trick we shouldn't fall for anymore.